Hey everyone, this is Scott Volker, and in this video, I want to take you behind the scenes of digital backgrounds and digital props. And I want to show you how powerful they really are. Now, you may be using these, you may not, and you may have used them in the past, but didn't really get really good results. And let me just say that not all digital backgrounds and props are created equally. And I'd like to think that ours are a little bit above everybody else's because we do mix real props in with digital and it really makes a difference and I think you're gonna see that in this one example but if you're not using them you really need to consider it even if you just add these to your business as something additional okay I think your clients are gonna like it I think it's gonna make your job a lot easier so this is just an example of the image that I'm gonna show you that we inserted in this new digital background and prop set that we've created this here was just shot on a white background no fancy lighting just a one light system with a reflector and uh, we just basically went ahead and took a couple of shots got a good one and that's what we came up with now let's get that out of the way and that's what we're talking about creating right here okay this right here let me bring that up a little closer for you now you can see this here is an antique wicker scale we purchased this a few years back from a uh, doctor that actually was passed down from her grandmother who was a doctor so it was a pretty neat story and we were able to use it in our studio well when we started creating digital backgrounds and props we thought that everyone would want this in their studio and I think everybody's gonna get a lot of a lot of good feedback from this one prop but anyway I wanted to show you over here because this is where all the magic happens right over here let me just zoom in on that for you and you can see there's there's some layers here okay and this right here, this background one, two, three, and four is really cool because if I go ahead and just turn this off right now, I've got a brand new background behind there. Turn this one off, I've got another background right behind there. And I turn this one off and I have another one. Now let me just say, whether you buy a digital background or prop from us, this is still gonna help you because this right here, if you do digital backgrounds, and you want to go ahead and load up 10 of your most favorite ones that your studio uses, what I would recommend doing is doing that, saving it as a PSD file, and then you can open it up and you have these already loaded in. So then your subject up here, okay, is just going to be inserted and then you can just turn the background on that you want and then just save the picture out. It's going to save you a lot of time by loading up a lot of different backgrounds within one PSD file. That's just a little side tip, but I think that would really save you a lot of time. Now, <clears throat> let me talk about this right here, the cover-up layer. Some of you may have seen this before, some of you may not have seen this before. And this is what I mean about being created equal. This here is something that we've started to create in a lot of our digital props, and it does save a lot of time because I can turn that on and off, and you can see it covers up the front part of the prop, making it a lot easier for you when you insert that. The other thing I did here is I added a vignette. I turn that on, or turn it off, and I turn it on. You get that little bit of a vignette around it. You can either turn that on or off. You don't have to have that. And then the last thing I wanted to point out, which is really cool, this is something new that we did, and we did it because we kind of had to, but the scale, hand, every child's weight is gonna be different. So we wanted to make it so you can adjust that. So. Let me just zoom in here. I'm going to zoom way in for you and try to get this over so you can see what I'm doing here. You can see it's isolated. And now that it's isolated, I can actually move that around. Okay. Now it's not the point about moving around. We want to rotate it. And depending on what version of Photoshop you're using, I'm using CS2 in this example, but all of them can rotate. So I just take that and I just start to rotate that around to wherever I want. 17 pounds if I want it to be. Go ahead and hit apply and then I, obviously I want to make this in the center now so I just move that over and there you have it depending on the weight you might want to ask the parents what the current weight is and then set this to be exactly to the child's weight so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up I just wanted to take you behind the scenes of one of our digital backgrounds and digital props so you can see the power of this and how you can go ahead and create multiple images by just taking one shot, cutting it out, and putting it into a digital background or a digital prop. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. I'll talk to you later.